I had a lot of anger, and um, which, well, my dad had cancer, and um, he uh, had it for eight years, and it was getting to the point where he was kind of deteriorating, and um, he was taken to the St. Catherine's Hospice, and, um, well, that's when, well, it was just, I think it was a Monday, and about half four, maybe, and um, he, um, we got a call saying that, you know, it wasn't, he was getting worse, so me and my mum decided to go in and, um, well, we were there about seven hours maybe, and, um, well, his pulse started to go and nurses came in and said, say your goodbyes and just went, I don't know. Um, one of the things people have said about, um, Jigsaw is that it, uh, it allows them to feel whatever they're feeling, if that's anger or if that's frustration, mm. that, um, that it, it allows them to, to feel whatever they're feeling. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Um, if you go into the groups feeling angry and you just tell them that, they will adjust to that and, you know, either give you some space or someone to talk about the anger and so you can get it out of your system. Talking about it is, well, it helps me, that's one of the things I like. But also they do things like the anger wall with the clay, which you just, you know, yell or, yeah, you yell and you just throw it at the wall and sometimes you can, like, draw a picture of someone you hate or something. You just do that, so. I've never heard of an anger wall. What does, what does it look like? Well, you know, it's just, well, it doesn't have to be a wall. You can just have a fence or something and you just put up a picture and then you just throw a bit of clay. You were saying you heard about Jigsaw through church, is that right? Um, yeah, uh, I think it was one of my mum's friends who goes to the church. Mm. Yeah, she um, said about the group, and um, I think my mum just rang up and, you know, to see if there was any spaces, and that's how it started. And at that time, did you feel like you'd like to speak to anyone? And, and if so, who would you have gone to? Well, yeah, try to get to cruise, but put onto the waiting list, and, um, you know, that's normally what happens with them, and it's understandable because you know they don't have many uh, counsellors on there. But um, there was someone who um, was from Cruz that went to my school and works in there, and yeah, uh, I talk to her still now, and that helps. But I, it was still Jigsaw was the most help to have. What sort of help does it offer? Well, uh, you know, like if you're really angry or upset or if you just want to talk about your feelings, you can just talk to the helpers there, which is very good. And in your opinion, what's the single most important thing that Jigsaw for you has done for you? Well, it's helped me get, well, my life back on track, really. Because, um, you know, I went to deep depression and it's just where you want to just, well, you don't really want to carry on with life. That's pretty much how I felt. And, um, well, after coming to the Jigsaw groups, you know, there's a bit of light at the end of the tunnel and you just feel, yeah, there's something to keep living for. Yeah, again, help me get my life back on track. Did you speak to, or did you, you find any people who you felt had gone through a similar thing? Or? Uh, yeah, there were lots of, well, in, our, in my group, everyone had lost their dad and you know it, it's kind of well you can relate to them you know and some of them were um you know recent like me uh, and it it's much easier to talk to someone when you've been through similar experiences do you think it's also important to speak to other males uh well male or female it doesn't really matter and um, what would you like to do in the future? What would you like? Uh, well, like the projects in Ghana and that, you know, Mike, it sounds like I could help people, so that would be good. Absolutely. Listen, thank you so much for talking to us. It's been a real pleasure. No problem. Thank you very much. Cheers, Jess.